this video we're going to be talking about something a bit different to the norm. It's actually the Coral Turn Prime Turning Range from Sandvik Coralment. You may or may not have heard about it, but Lee Kendall from Sandvik Coralment is going to tell us all about it. Lee, it looks a bit strange on the screen, yeah. but it's great, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, prime turning, it's, it's not just turning in the opposite direction, it's all directional turning. So you can turn in the prime direction and you can indeed turn in a conventional direction with the same insert. So it gives you a lot of advantages. I mean, even even to some some customers, just the fact they don't have to do a tool change mm -hmm. to, to to go in between roughing and finishing can be an advantage and save seconds. Yeah, if, let's go right back to the basics. Why was this brought to market? This was something that was thought about by some of our guys in in Sweden. They had this idea that actually to turn to to reverse turn, we could get some big advantages in productivity. Um, in the past. Um, we see you see this with a, a maybe a DNMG people try, will machine backwards to try and get a better chip control or something, and, and it, it doesn't really work because the insert's not designed around that. But we designed a, a, a range of inserts that work in the reverse direction as well as forward. And of course, when you when you do that, we've got these low entry angles. We're spreading the heat along the edge of the insert. Therefore, you get much better productivity by the by thinning the chip out and increasing your feed rate. But the other thing with that is that you get less heat buildup in the insert, so you get less wear. So actually, you get much better productivity, but you get much better tool life in, in the same same vein, which is unusual because normally you have a trade-off one sure. against the other. How about the RPM? If you say that there's less wear, does that mean we increase our, our surface speed? Typically, what you can see is because there's less heat, you can elevate the cutting speed. I mean, we're talking about you know maybe 50% higher in, in some cases on the cutting speed. And, in, and indeed, on, on, the, on the steel materials, you know, mm -hmm. we're talking three, four, e even up to 450, 500 meters a minute, you mm -hmm. know, cutting speed, and you get very, very good tool life. And of course, the chip control is exceptional mm -hmm. as well. We see the, the roughing of a shaft here, but this is also a finishing tool, correct? Yeah, I mean, you can see here, this is the um, A-type. This is um, used for semi-finishing, profiling, and finishing. And you can finish in either direction with, with, with this tool. Mm -hmm. And indeed, with even with the B-type, you can actually finish in a conventional direction. Can you just, sorry, just explain how the forces are reduced against a traditional method? Yeah, well, what's happening is you're, you're thinning out the chip. So because you, you've got a much lower um, angle of attack with the insert, therefore you have a very thin chip which allows us to then push the feed rate much, much higher, up to 1.2 millimetres a revolution, um, and, and still maintaining an average chip thickness that you would be used to seeing with, say, a CNMG, say. And is there any downsides? Like, I'm just thinking about fundamentals of the machine. You know, the actual, the actual, is there any more wear on the machine tool, for instance? We have installations across Europe in a lot of the automotive um, companies, and we see no detriment to the machine tool. Um, what we do see is, is a lot of advantages for the, for the customer, and, and that's key. Um, we get good chip control in some very, very difficult materials. Your duplex, um, super duplex materials, which are traditionally quite difficult to chip, very difficult to machine. Mm -hmm. We can actually machine super duplex up to 170, 180 meters a minute and get the chip control that the customer needs. Yeah, that was my next question, because typically I'm thinking shafts for automotive Fairly easy materials, but yeah. when we talk about the difficult to machine materials, you're saying it's equally as good, or maybe even better. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, we're looking at places where they have high high volume because then you can take advantage of the productivity uh, in automotive. But we're seeing a lot of advantages for the aerospace industry, um, oil and gas, um, heat resistant materials, where you can get fantastic tool life at elevated data. I mean. 0.8 millimetres of rev feed rate, 2 millimetres depth of cut at sort of 60, 70 metres on Inco 718. I mean, wow. this is, it's, it's, it works exceptionally well. So these inserts, they're not going to be familiar. They're not ASO inserts. So no. just talk us through the three, if you will. So, okay, th th this, this one here, this is the B type. This is used primarily for roughing um, in both um, conventional and the prime direction. And then we have here the A type, which is more um, for semi-finishing, um, finishing operations in both directions again. And here, this is quite a unique product as well, is, is to actually use it for internal machining. And they work extremely well on, on damped boring bar applications because you're actually pulling the bore out of the, out of the, out of the bore, out the, the, the tool out of the bore, and the chips are actually not hitting the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the big advantages with prime turning is as you're coming away from a shoulder, you don't get the chip jamming, so you get much better tool wear then. Yeah, so 
obviously you've got a, an engineer, a CNC machinist, you've got to kind of retrain the brain, retrain yeah. your thinking. It's quite straightforward, but it's different. So do you guys help, you know, hold their hand? Yeah, of course, and that's that's the key. It's, it's a partnership. We want to work to get the best productivity, to get the best for the customer. But we've, we've got our own software now, the Toolpath software, Coraplus Toolpath. This is software that customers can try out free of charge for a month, and that does all the programming and gives them the correct NC code for their machine and to give you the correct toolpath that you need to, to run this effectively. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of people watching this want to learn more, so how can they find out more? There is um, there's a lot of information on the web, on our website about prime turning, and indeed there's a, a Coraturn Prime portal that you can get access to with um, technical information, etc. Well, thank you and thanks for watching at home.